Want to learn how to create a professional looking email signature with clickable link? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a professional looking email signature with clickable links. We're going to be using Canva and Canva only to create your email signature for Gmail and everybody can follow along even if you have a free account. So let's go. What is going on everyone? Ronnie here, your go-to Canva guru. Welcome back to the channel. I'm super happy this week to have another tutorial with you guys. Today, we're going to create something quite important because this is something you're going to be using most likely every single day. I'm talking about email signatures and more particularly email signature for your Gmail account. Gmail is by far the most used email solution out there. So I thought let's go ahead and create a nice looking email signature with clickable link to your social media icons, but also to your website. And I'm gonna show you step by step how to create that. Now, in this tutorial, I'm also going to talk about the different ways I explored in order to get to this final result, because I want you to not only recreate what I'm gonna show you, but also understand my creative process and see how I work with Canva so that you can be inspired by that and of course create your own design. So the first step to creating your email signature is to search for a template because Canva does have email signature template. So in order to find them, just simply type into the search bar right here, email signature and type enter and Canva is going to bring you to this uh, result page in the template category, in the template uh, part of the website, where you will have a multitude of email signatures. Some will be free, those without any little crown right there, and those with the crown are pro only email signatures. So me, I'm looking for something relatively minimalistic for my personal brand, okay? For the Ronnie Hermosa personal brand, not for Team Rondi, which is more colorful. I'm gonna be using uh, my personal brand, which has this yellow color as a dominant color and a very kind of minimalistic style. So I'm not looking for anything too crowded like this one or this one. I'm looking for something simple with my photo and a couple of links uh, on the side. So. Let's see what we have here, if we can find something that could be useful for me. Let's go for this one. Okay, so just click on the template, it's gonna open. The first thing I want to check is the dimensions of this email signature. So I'm gonna click on the file button right here. It's 400 pixels by 200. So 400 large by 200 high. Okay, so uh, I guess I'm just going to start populating this email signature with my own details, right? So let's go ahead and do that. So here would be my name, Ronnie Hermosa. Need to stretch that box slightly. Content creator. Yep, I'm a content creator. I'm fine with this. Phone number, uh, probably not. Email, probably not as well as, I mean, this is my email. So if you want my email, just hit the reply button. I don't need to give you my email again. You probably already have it. Directions, no. Uh, website, yes, definitely. So let's just uh, change the website here. And you know what, I'm gonna get rid of the www. I'm just gonna go straight to the website, runnyhermosa.com. Okay, so that's the website. And so here, well, let's swap the photo as well for my own photo. So I do have a folder right here with some cool photos of me without a background. So I'm gonna be using this one right here. Let me bring it to the right place on my design. Resizing this slightly. I'm gonna make this quite big, like so. Okay, uh, this is coming to life. I'm not really a big fan of all these little thingies here. Let's try to change this pink color for my dominant uh, yellow color and see how that goes. I'm gonna use the change all button. Okay, so not everything has been changed. Let's uh, change this one as well. Use the change all. Okay. And for this one, okay. So this one, we cannot customize the color. You could if you use a duotone effect. So edit image, uh, click on any of the duotone. And what you will do is to just use the settings of the duotone and use your color. Okay. So I'm going to use this color and this one, which is slightly um, different from my first yellow. And there you go. So now I have 
these bubbles right here in a different color. I could do the same right here. Uh, okay, so again, Duotone using the settings and I'm going to go for my custom colors right here and apply. Once I have them, I can bring my photo back in front of them. Okay, so this is where I am at this stage. So let's continue uh, tweaking this. I'm gonna apply my brand fonts because I do have brand fonts, which is prompt. Okay, so the main name, the H1, if we talk about text hierarchy, uh, will be prompt bold. Okay, so this one right here, 16, can make that slightly bigger. Okay, and then the H2, so this text box right here, will be prompt thin. Okay, this looks good. And then these, all of these, should be a different uh, font as well. Probably prompt medium. Let me see, prompt, prompt medium. Yep, I'm going to change all for prompt medium. Okay, so this is what I have. Now, let me quickly add my links here. I'm gonna swap these for some other icons. But before I do that, I want you to understand that this is going to be uploaded into the Gmail signature option. So if we go to my Gmail account and I click on the little cog icon right here, see all settings. So if I scroll down, if I scroll down all the way here to a section called signature, you see I can create a new signature from Gmail. So if I click here, I can give it a name. So let's say Ronnie V1. Okay, I'm gonna create that signature. And now what I can do, I can add some images and I can add some text and everything. But I would love to create this entire design in Canva and then import it and then maybe add my links. The problem is that if I import the entire design, so what I'm designing here in Canva, if I export that, it's gonna be a flat image, probably a PNG or a JPEG it's gonna be one image. And so if I want to add links, I can only add one link to this image, right? So we have to consider that when creating our email signature. So the way I try to solve that problem from here, because what I did is that I went ahead and really created all my different icons here with my LinkedIn, my Udemy courses, my Facebook community and my YouTube channel, and then also my website. And then I figured, oh, I can only add one link to this image. So this didn't quite work out. So I'm being transparent here, showing you the design process. I'm not gonna repeat every single step, but I'm telling you what I went through. So after that, what I did, I went to YouTube and I searched for how to create an email signature with clickable link. And I found this tutorial from one of my good friends, Sandy Sevilla, uh, from Sandy Solutions. And she by far has the best tutorial about how to create a clickable email signature with Canva. So go ahead and check her channel out. I will have a link in the description. You can say hi to Sandy coming from Team Rondi if you decide to subscribe to her channel. But Sandy here has a very comprehensive tutorial that really inspired me to create this one. And you know how I like to work. I like to see what's out there and then kind of see how can I use that and maybe elevate that to use for my own brand or to use for my own content. So what Sandy suggested here is to create, let me uh, move forward. So this is kind of like the final result that she came up with. And she has her signature with her email, her website, and then uh, below that, she has added a couple of social media options, social media buttons. So I thought this was a very smart way to send the viewer not only to one link, but to add as many links as you want, really, by creating the, your social media icons and positioning them right below your main image. So we are going to do this. We are going to kind of learn from what Sandy has created and uh, just add the social media buttons at the bottom. I'm going to change a few things from what Sandy actually designed. And this is, I'm gonna get rid of the email and I'm going to actually change the size of this entire canvas because now that I don't need all of this, let me show you. Now that I don't need all of this information, this looks pretty empty. And also I'm not so much of a big fan of these. Remember I told you I wanted to create something more minimalistic. So if I do get rid of these, 
I don't have much stuff going on on my email signature anymore. Okay, so this is pretty much the information that will remain and I need to build from there. All right, so let's continue building. The first thing I want to do is to give emphasize to my website. Okay, so this is my website right here. It's looking a little bit sad right now because I don't have a strong focus on this line of text. So what I'm going to do is to add an effect and add a background to it. Okay, so and I'm going to choose the yellow color. Okay, so that's my yellow color and this makes the, the entire button or the entire uh, sentence URL right here much more visible at this stage. Okay, so this is good. So that will be the one link that will be basically attached to this visual right here that I'm going to upload on my Gmail. So I want people to understand that they can click on this image and go to my website. So I need to kind of have a visual prompt to get people to actually click on this because if they see it, they might not understand, they can click through directly to my website. So for that, I'm going to go and search for, in my elements, I'm going to go and search for tap. Yeah, just tap and uh, click on graphics. All right, so this is good. I'm going to use this one right here, make it smaller, a little bit smaller even, and make something like this, okay? I'm going to position this forward until it's right here and then I'm using my keyboard arrow to finish like the positioning of this. Next, I'm going to group these two things and make that bigger, okay? Almost as big as my uh, main title right here, my main name, my H1 line but it's not exactly as big because this is also going to be scaled some more. You see, I'm gonna go all the way to the safe zone and this one right here, I'm gonna bring a ruler, okay? So if you don't see your rulers right here, go to show rulers and guides right here. For me, it's already activated. So I'm gonna bring a ruler and put this right here, uh, right before my capital R letter right here and I'm gonna move this so it sticks, it's aligned to this piece of text right here. Okay, next I'm gonna select everything and make that center. Okay, so this looks pretty good. My photo right here could be a little bit better. What do I mean by that? Well, could be a bit more on brand. My brand is black and yellow, okay? And by the way, I can see that this is not black, but this is kind of like dark gray, yes. So I'm gonna change the dark gray for my blacks and change all. I want the maximum contrast between that bright yellow and that pure black. Uh, so that's what I did right here. I want to make this photo black and white, okay? So let's start by cropping it correctly. I think I have enough distance right here between my text and my photo. We will have to test by uploading this to Gmail and see how it looks. But yeah, let's work on that photo. So by clicking on it, edit image, and I'm just going to use the adjust sliders right here. I'm gonna go to my saturation and bring it all the way to zero. Uh, boost the brightness a little bit, boost the contrast. So I pop a little bit more, maybe some vibrance. And I'm gonna move the blur slightly in the negative so I'm a little bit sharper. Okay, so now this looks much better. Okay, so I have this low key black and yellow uh, email signature. So Ronnie Hermosa, content creator, my website. We understand we can click on that visual to go through the website. So this is pretty cool. So what I can do from here is just add a touch of color to my image. So the way I'm going to do this, let me, Crop this. Uh, I'm going to duplicate this photo. So with the photo selected, Command C, Command V. You see, I have a duplicate exactly the same size right here. And I'm going to use the same effect as before. Edit image, duotone. I select any of the duotones and I'm going to change these colors. So both of these colors to my brand color. So it's gonna be looking something like that, which is fine. I'm gonna apply this. Okay, let's the duotone effect do its thing. And you see I position it exactly on top of the other image and I'm going to push it backwards. And now without clicking out of this photo, I'm just going to be using my keyboard arrows to move this and to give a little bit of a delay to this yellow image of me 
so I can see on this side at least a little bit of the shadow. And what I could do also here is edit image and add a little bit of blur to this to kind of make this interesting. Not too much, maybe, yeah, maybe three. Okay, so I'm gonna stick with that. Now, this is where I am. This is what I have. So Ronnie Hermosa, content creator. This looks pretty cool. And let's export this. Let's start experimenting with the Gmail uh, upload and see how it looks there. Okay, so I'm gonna export this. Okay, so download in PNG, this is fine. I don't even need the transparent background. Just going to send that straight to Gmail, okay? Keep the dimensions. So let's see how this looks once uploaded in my Gmail. Okay, so now I'm right here. Uh, I'm going to click on insert image and I'm going to upload this bad boy right here. And you will see a bunch of already uploaded images there because I've been working on this all morning. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Okay, so let's just save this for now. I'm going to save this. So this is going to be uh, for my main email. So Ronnie V1, save changes. Okay, just going to duplicate this and compose a new email. So it should be showing up here. Okay, so this looks great. Uh, and I'm going to be pasting my social media buttons right underneath this image. Now, the only thing that I cannot do is you see how I am positioned right here. I cannot paste my links here because here is also the photo. You see the photo is that big. So I cannot have anything here. That would be ideal to have my social media links right here but I cannot do that because this is the photo. So the links will have to come underneath right here. So this kind of shows me there's probably something wrong with this format. I need something that is less high than 200 pixels because I have this white space right here that is not appropriate. Like this is not the right way to position my icon. So let me come back to Canva to my design right here. What I'm going to do is to resize this document. I'm going to use the resize button right here, which is a pro only feature. If you don't have that, you can very easily create a new document and copy all of your assets right here and paste in the new document. But since I'm using my pro account, I'm just going to resize this. So it's going to be 400 by 125. Okay, I'm going to copy and resize this very same document. Okay, so this is now what I have. I'm going to take these two things here and group them and move that on that side. Okay, so let me find the safe zone here. It's right here. I can move my shoulder pretty much closer to that. And I'm going to stretch it even bigger. And now take everything here and probably position it here and make that also bigger. Okay, so now this is what I have. I can probably center that and make that even bigger. Okay, there we go. So now this is what we have. We can stretch that even more because why not? I mean, we have all this space right here that uh, is going to be great for pretty much the visibility at the bottom of my email. Okay, so maybe these two can come down a little bit. I'm gonna bring back my guide right here this one or so. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy with this one. I think this one is the winner. I'm going to export this one more time. Okay, download. All right, let's go back to Gmail. And yes, let's close this. And let's go back to my option settings. Scroll back to my signature. Just going to select it, delete it and upload a new one. So just going to go to my uploads, bring the new one. I just export it. You see, it's a kind of a trial and error. Don't expect to get this one right the first time. Okay, so this looks good. Uh, okay, that's about right. Save the changes. Don't forget to save the changes. And now let's look at how it looks one more time. So this is not the right one. I probably need to refresh this this time. Yes, this is the right one. Okay, so this doesn't look too bad, but my photo right here could be more on the left side. Okay, so I'm going to adjust that. Maybe I can reduce the size of the hand right here, the, the clicking 
icon right here so that the focus is more on the title as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and fix that and then we will create our social media buttons. Okay, so from here, so yes, the first thing we wanted to do is to bump this one to this side, which will allow us to make things bigger right here. So I'm gonna create and move the guides closer to my photo, move this right here as well. And I'm gonna go all the way. I'm gonna use the entire space right here. And now this button right here, ungroup. I'm gonna reduce the size of this clicking thingy right here, regroup, and make that um, about the size of the second word right here and paste it all the way to the bottom. Okay, now this is what I have. Let me use this space to the best use right here. Maybe I can reduce the, the size of this finger a little bit more so it will give me more space. You see all that space that I'm losing here at the bottom? That's because of this icon. So let's ungroup this and reduce its size a little bit more. Okay, now I think this will work better. I can push this down and have more space for my two um, main like H1 and H2 right here. So it's really important when you create your email signature that you think about your text hierarchy, okay? You really have to think what is the most important piece of information? Probably your name. Second is your title. And then third, I would encourage you to think about your main call to action, your main CTA, Right here is my website. I want people to visit my website because this is where I have my offers. This is where I'm talking about my courses, my affiliate link, all the stuff. So this is where I want people to go. Then the social icons that we are going to create in a second, they come next, you know, that's the cherry on top. If you want to connect, if you want to see my work, you can check these out. But this is the button I want you to click basically. So I think we are up to something very good here. I will download this one last time. I'm not gonna try it now. I'm gonna design the social icons first, but let's go ahead and download this. What I'm gonna do is to go back to Canva and this time go back to the homepage and create a custom document. So uh, I went back to Sandy's tutorial right here to see what size she actually used to create her social media icons right here because she did a really good job with this tutorial. So let's go ahead and listen to what she says here. There we go. So 50 by 50 pixels. So that's the size of the square icons that she is going to be designing next for the social media buttons. So let's go ahead and do this. Once again, thank you, Sandy. You got absolutely all the credit for that. But again, like I'm not here to reinvent the wheel. I'm here to help you guys find the quickest and most optimal way to create your visuals with Canva. So because there are a ton of good creators out there, I want to give them credit. I want to feature them on this channel so they they can get the love that they deserve. So go ahead and subscribe to Sandy's channel. So back to my uh, design right here, back to my homepage actually. Let's create a custom document by 50 by 50 pixel. Okay, create. And now what I want to do, let me zoom in to fit that. Okay, so that's pretty small. Um, Cannot zoom more, cannot make this bigger. All right, no problem. What I'm gonna do is to create a circle like so. And I'm gonna make that circle all the way to my safe zone and give this my yellow color. Okay, I'm gonna create that four times. I'll duplicate that four times. The first one is my LinkedIn. So going to my elements, I'm gonna search for LinkedIn LinkedIn icon. Okay, I'm going to be using this one right here. Okay, this is the right size. I'm happy with this. The second one right here is going to be a YouTube button. So finding YouTube icon. And I'm going to be using this one right here. Next is going to be my Facebook icon for my Facebook page. Facebook icon this one right here, and this time it's white, so I'm gonna need to change that. Uh, and also I'm gonna bring it next to my 
LinkedIn icon right here. It's actually the same size. It seems smaller to me. You can make it slightly bigger because it seems smaller. Okay. And finally, I'm going to be using a Udemy icon because I would like people to check out my courses as well. So Udemy icon, my graphics. Do I have a Udemy? Nice looking Udemy icon. This, yep, I can change the color. So that's perfect. Okay, so let's have a look. These are my four icons. They look pretty good. So I'm just going to download them as well. No link at this stage. The links are going to be added in Gmail directly. So not in Canva. Just remember that. Okay, so download all of these. Uh, all pages, yes. Transparent background, not necessary here. So let's just go ahead and download these. So I'm going to have a zip file because I have four different visuals under one single folder. Okay, I think I'm ready to upload everything into my Gmail. So let's go back to Gmail. Okay, um, close this, go back to my settings one last time, I hope, and start tweaking this. Okay, so I'm going to change this one as well because, you know, I redesigned it a third time. So it's the one right here. I'm going to create, I'm just adding a new image. Okay, upload. And that's going to be this image right here. Okay, perfect. And next, I'm using my keyboard arrow to go on the other side of this photo. You see my cursor is in front of it and now it's at the other side of it. So make sure you are at the other side and hit enter. Okay, so just here, now I can add my social media icons. But before that, I need to unzip them. So let's do that. Okay, they are unzipped now. Okay, and I can start adding them in the order that I want. Okay, so I have them here. So I'm gonna start with my LinkedIn one. So select, okay, this looks good. Changing the cursor, like making sure I'm clicking at the right place. And I'm gonna be adding the second one, which is YouTube. Select, perfect. And let's just continue adding all of them. Uh, next will be Facebook. I want Udemy to be last, um, yeah, because kind of like the easiest to click on. This is where I'm selling, so this is probably um, important to have it last. Okay, so this is how it looks. The last thing I need to do is to add all my links to these buttons. So I'm going to skip that phase for you. I'm just going to show you with the website and then the social media icons. I think you get the you will get the point. So first, let's do it with the main image right here. So select it. You need to select it and then click on this link button once it's selected and just paste or type your uh, website. So ronniehermosa.com. By the way, this is the website I created with Canva. So click OK. And now I'm just going to speed up the video and add all the links here in my socials. All right, guys, I have added all the links into these buttons right here. So all together, there are five different links to my LinkedIn profile, to our YouTube channel, to my Facebook page and to my Udemy teacher profile. OK, um, so I think everything here is good. The last thing you need to make sure of is these little uh, options right here. So signature default. So I'm going to default to my at ronniehermosa.com email. For new email, use this one. On reply, use this one as well. And insert the signature before quoted text in replies. I tick this box as well. I'm not exactly sure what it does, but I thought it would be a good idea to tick it. Make sure to save your changes. This is very important. Okay, so now I'm going to refresh this page and I'm going to compose a new email. And hopefully everything looks good here. Yeah, it does look pretty good. Uh, so what I'm going to do is to send an email to myself and see how it goes. So this is going to be testing Ronnie uh, V1. OK, testing Ronnie V1. Make sure you use some sort of like naming conventions because this morning I really played around and I had about five or six different versions of this email signature. So you will have to test definitely uh, if you create from scratch. So make sure you use a naming convention. So testing Runny V1 and send. And now is a good time for a commercial break, right? Just like the good old TV. No, just kidding. There's nothing to buy here. There's nothing to sell either. If you like the video, if you find it useful, you can give me a like. That would be highly appreciated. If you want to learn more about Canva, you can also subscribe to our channel. Diana and I create two new tutorials for you guys 
every single week. So yeah, this is the best place for you to learn about Canva and how to use Canva to grow your business. Now back to this, my email should probably has arrived by now. So let me quickly switch back to my other account and see if the email is here. Woo! Testing running V1 is right here. So let's go ahead and check this out. Okay, so this looks great. The image is there. Uh, I see immediately that this is clickable. So I'm gonna open a new link. So um, yeah, this is my website. This works perfectly. Uh, testing these as well, open in a new link, in a new tab, sorry. So I have these four. First is my LinkedIn. Yep, works fine our uh, YouTube and I added a direct subscribe link here. So uh, people who are not yet subscribed will have this pop up instead of just landing on the channel. They will see the channel in the background, but they have the subscribe link here. Next is my Facebook page. And finally, my Udemy teacher profile. So basically everything works super well. One last thing I would love to show you here. This is really like a pro tip if you want to save time every time you write an email. You see there's not much space here on top of this image, meaning if you write some text, I should have written some text so you could see, um, you kind of need to add a couple of enters and like jumps so that there is enough space between your last line of text and your email signature. So you can fix that directly into Gmail so that you don't have to do that every single time. Let me show you how. Let me go back to this email signature design right here. Okay, it is here. So what I need to do basically is to come at the very beginning, you see my cursor is here and add two spaces here. And now if I move back up, you see I have one, two lines and then my design. So this is the only little trick that will save you time every time you write an email because you will have these two enter keys every time. So I think this was a nice little way to polish, I would say, uh, this tutorial. Okay, saving these changes and now we are good to go. So I guess this is it. The only thing I want to do before leaving you is to test this from my mobile phone. So I'm gonna send myself one last email, this time with text. I'm gonna do it from here uh, after I refresh, obviously. And I'm gonna compose an email, again, sending this to my other email, subject testing v1 on mobile. Okay, and I'm going to add some text this time. Uh, hola, this is my beautiful email signature that I just designed with Canva. Okay, what do you think? Okay, and you see these two lines are right there. So I'm gonna send that. All right, so I'm gonna grab my phone, go to my Gmail and Ronnie testing V1 on mobile is right there. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Like the responsiveness of the design is perfect. I have this design very well centered on my page. I have my social uh, links here at the bottom. Everything is really legible. In my opinion, everything is big enough. My name is obviously popping out, but we can still read content creator, ronniehermosa.com. We can even see the little hand right here. If I click here, I'm going straight to my website. So yeah, this is, pretty good in my opinion. I'm just gonna click on one of the random links right here to Udemy and yeah, it's it works perfectly. So this is it guys. You have your beautiful on-brand email signature created with a Canva free account. No need to pay for this. And it has clickable links as many as you want with this little trick. Once again, Thank you, Sandy Solution and Sandy for being our guide with this tutorial. So thank you for watching until the end. Namaste to our Indian friends. Somebody in the comments let me know, oh, you did a namaste at the end of your video, love that. So yes, thank you for your attention. I'm gonna leave a link this time to Sandy's video. If you wanna click on this and see how she did it, like watch the entire tutorial, that would be very lovely for her. So thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video.